Hey, welcome back to the Two Nerdy Families. We've got Bryce and Johnny here again today. Just uh, looking at some more gadgets that we like uh, within our families and we like to share them with the, the world. And so, yeah, and just want to say before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hit the little bell notification. Uh, that way when we put out new content, you're sure to get that and you don't miss it. And uh, be sure to give us a like and um, leave some comments. Tell us what you liked. If there's anything else that you want us to review uh, coming up, we'll be happy to do that. Absolutely. Okay, so today we're going to be reviewing the LG Gizmo PAL 2. It's a kid's smartwatch. And to help us do that, we actually have a guest here today with us. Liam, do you want to come out? Here's Liam. He's from My Nerdy Family, and he's going to be helping us out. Um, and uh, there's some pretty cool features on this. Do you like this watch? Is it pretty fun? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, a lot of cool things with it that he likes. Um, and it has two-way calling capabilities. Um, he doesn't need his own smartphone, and it's kind of limited lockdown. He can't be in class playing games or anything. It's just um, two-way calling. And there's a couple fun features that we'll get into. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to do a, a quick demo. Um, Liam's going to head down the road, and we're going to show you what it looks like both from my perspective from my phone giving him a phone call and then what it looks like on his end receiving a phone call or making a phone call from his end and um, how it can kind of track where he's at from my, my mobile device. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll kind of get into some more of the features um, and also some pros and cons about the watch um, and then kind of give you a brief summary of, of our thoughts and so we'll, we'll go ahead and get to it. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, bye. Bye. In a big city, a child can get lost or go without permission, or you know they might be injured. Um, you know, we use this this kid's smartwatch just because um, Liam goes to school. Um, you know, eventually he'll start walking to school on his own, and we just want to have the ability to keep tabs on him. And um, we're looking to get, you know, something similar for the other kids as they get a little bit older. Um, you know, you just never know what can happen. And fortunately, smart watches for kids can be an excellent solution to kind of all those concerns that you might have as a parent, um, and just kind of always being in the know. So, the LG Gizmo Pal 2. Um, it's only available on the Verizon network, um, but it's it's a great watch, and you don't necessarily need to be a Verizon uh, customer. Like we happen to be, I think we bought this for seventy nine dollars, and we only pay five dollars a month for the service um, for this to take and receive um, calls. You know, if you're not a Verizon customer, you can still add this to a plan 
you'd pay a little bit more. You pay around fifteen dollars a month for unlimited calls, um, and you know around nine dollars if you wanted like insurance or tech support on the device. But um, it's it's not a bad deal. I think you might pay a thirty dollar activation fee if you're not already a Verizon customer. One thing I wanted to point out is that you know this this is a watch phone. However, it's a standalone watch phone. Um, some people have mistaken this for a watch that you have to have a cell phone to connect over Bluetooth or that it needs to be connected over Wi-Fi in order to receive or make any phone calls. But it's actually, it's got its own built-in um, LTE module and can make and receive phone calls, um, you know, do simple two-way calling. So it's pretty nice. It's actually, you know, a phone all by itself. So it's a great alternative or supplement to cell phones. Um, you know, your kids might be too young um, or not mature enough for a cell phone. Um, you might be concerned about your kids losing or breaking a cell phone or, you know, maybe they have a phone you just want a, a good backup, um, you know, in case their, their phone happens to die. Um, you know, the batteries on these last about 36 hours and ours last quite a bit more if you're not making phone calls to it quite a bit. Um, you know, it'll last for literally days. On a single charge as long as you know you turn it off at night which you know Liam does a pretty good job of doing that what's nice is you can pre-program up to four numbers that the watch can call and only those numbers can call the watch so you know if you want only mom and dad and you know maybe grandma or an aunt or neighbor to be able you know only have them call this device um, instead of you know like creepy telemarketers or um, you know scammers or maybe you just don't want them on their own phone, you know, with friends all the time. Not that that's a bad thing, but just depending on your your situation, um, this might be a really good option um, or alternative to all those other things. Um, so from this, you can call those four pre-programmed numbers, and only those four numbers can call this device, which is pretty nice. So even some adults wear this out jogging when they don't want to take their expensive smartphone but still want to be able to call a few contacts in case of emergency um, you can actually program this to call the local police as well um, not 911 specifically but the local police number one thing that's really cool is this has an awesome auto answer feature so it auto answers after a few rings if there's no pickup so kids can't avoid you um, this is also a nice safety feature in case your kids were ever in trouble or you know, unable to answer. Um, you can still listen in and, and kind of hear what's, what's going on um, and, or try to get their attention if they didn't hear it ringing. Um, another safety feature um, with the auto answer is that um, the auto answer calls will only remain connected for 60 seconds in case you, you pocket dial. I think LG specifically put the 60 second cap on there to prevent eavesdropping, but um, as a parent, I don't know that that's a bad thing. The auto answer makes it nice even for locating the watch if you've lost it somewhere in your home. Um, you know, then it's still powered on, you can actually call it. So, to turn this on, you're going to hit the play button here. Hello. It's going to connect, and then if you have the Gizmo Hub app on your phone, you're going to get this notification at the top here. Gizmo is on. So the Gizmo Hub app is available you know, in the Play Store. Um, it's also available in the App Store for iOS. As you open the app, it comes to the main dashboard here. Um, since we just turned it on, the, the calls are going to start at zero for the day. Um, but if you come in here, it actually shows you the whole history. Um, shows you the power. You can see the last place that the watch phone checked in. Um, if you want to force another check-in you can hit this here. But here in the app you can make a phone call right from this unless you save it as a contact and you can call them from your contacts. Under here under here you'll have the status changes so you know when he's here or if you put his school location in here and when he arrives at school it'll tell you when the gizmo is turned on and turned off. Down here you'll see a menu where you can manage devices, um, it's got your profile and a security pin for getting in. If you have more than one Gizmo Watch, you can actually come in and add more uh, devices here. If you come in and manage devices, this is where it's going to show you the one that we have. It has a quiet mode feature, so um, 
if you want to silence it for a certain time or if you want to add a quiet time so if they're in class and you don't want it ringing during their class time then you can add that there um, this is where you would set the auto answer that we talked about earlier really great feature um, you can pick the ringtone and the volume of it um, there's the fun sounds that, that we played for you that you can choose uh, different characters and sounds from the app itself you can actually turn the gizmo off um, the only thing is you can't turn it on from the app. Um, this just shows um, any kids that you have in here. We just have Liam set up, but um, you can come in here and add a location alert. So um, it could be based on when he gets to a location, uh, or it could be time based that it checks in and tells you where he's at at certain times of the day. Um, so you can kind of come in here and pick a schedule if you want that. So you'll see on here that. Um, Liam decided to use one of the stickers that came with it, so that's what you're seeing here. If you've seen the pictures of this device, you'll see that this is just one big black, you know, screen. But if you wanted just the entire screen visible, you don't have to put the sticker on. So on the front here, the only thing on the display will be a phone symbol, um, a battery symbol, and, and kind of your connection, your two-way arrows that you'll see flashing here a couple times. Um, they're not buttons. The only buttons are going to be these two down here for making phone calls or you know, the play one for making funny sounds. And you can change that in the app if you want to have different sounds. Liam really likes the record feature um, so he can record his voice and make funny sounds. Then, I don't know if we can... So the play button is used to turn it on or turn it off, but you can see when I press this here. Press the play button again to turn me off. So this watch uses GPS, which is Global Positioning Service. Um, it's a satellite-based navigation. Um, I think everyone's familiar with the term GPS, but you can usually pinpoint um, the location pretty accurate. You know, I think it's up to a foot versus other watches use LBS, which is location-based services. Um, and that uses cell tower triangulation to determine the location of a mobile device. Um, it's only accurate up to 32 feet. A GPS, if you have anything overhead, you know, so if your child's in a building or something, sometimes it won't register the location. Um, some watches utilize GPS and LBS, so if they are in a building, it'll at least um, you know, be fairly accurate of where they're at by using the cell towers um, to locate the device, but um, but this is just GPS for this one. It is also IPX3 water resistant rated, so it's basically rated for everyday use, such as hand washing. Uh, you're not going to want to jump in the water with it. It's not waterproof, but um, you know, this has just been a, a great watch. I mean, we've used it for about a year. Um, it does everything that we needed to do. We're able to contact our eight-year-old at any time and always talk to him, especially the auto answer feature that always picks up. Um, it's super durable. Um, a lot of other wristbands uh, for other watches, you know, it seems like a lot of the reviews show that those break a lot, and this thing has stood the test of time for sure. Um, you know, our eight-year-old, he's broken a couple pairs of sunglasses, and he goes through clothes and shoes like you wouldn't believe. Um, yet yeah, the watches survive. So the LG Gizmo Pal 2 might be a great option for you, um, but there's plenty of other watches out there to choose from, so leave us a comment, tell us which watch you like, um, or if you have other questions about this one, we'd be happy to answer those. Hey everyone, that's, uh, that's a wrap for us as far as the LG um, Gizmo Pal 2 watch. And as you saw, we just went through and, and did a short demo of kind of what it looked like from Liam's end um, using the watch and what it looked like from the mobile app side of things. And so we hope, you know, you found some value and kind of understand, you know, what some of the features of this watch are, maybe some of the pros and cons, and now you can kind of make the decision if, if it's a good fit for you. Um, and tell us what you thought. Leave us some comments and let us know if you have any questions. Just make sure you guys uh, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and give us a thumbs up if you liked it. And then, uh, yeah, like Bryce said, comment and tell us if you liked it. And also, if there's us, uh, additional products you want us to try out, or you have things that you like for your nerdy family. So, thanks.
Thanks again. All right, next time, that's it from Two Dirty Families. Say bye, Lee. Bye. <laughs>